All right, y'all. So today we're going to be talking about the black man. Um, and pretty much we're going to, we're just going to be jumping into it. And the first thing we want to talk about is basically what is the overall of the black man, how he's doing, how he's feeling and so on. So you want to drop so, the video first? Hmm? You want to drop the um, video first or you want to, uh, you could you could drop the video right after. Uh, I mean, if you want to go ahead and say something like how you how you over my piece on it. Um, how you think he's feeling and you know what's going on with him and stuff. It's really all about. I mean, we we see it now. Like I said, a lot of plus, it's everybody got uh, social media and shit. We all see how people are expressing how we how, how black men feel. You know, on the internet. Yeah. You know, me me personally, I feel like. Uh, it, it's it's definitely hard, you know, especially nowadays with with, with with you know how women is talking and shit. But as far as black men overall, is getting to the point of where they're being more. I, I me personally, I think we get more scared to mess with black women in general. You know, women all we all always always gonna mess with women, but as far as black men mess with black women. You know, if you if you pull up your phone, people are it's looking scary. People are saying that they are not really here for us, and black men starting to look other ways. Yeah, I, you know? I definitely agree with what you're saying and stuff too. And was he finished? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, but yeah, I definitely agree with you what you're saying. And, you know, just in general, we uh, we're dealing with a lot. We're going through a lot. Uh, I feel like the black man, uh, you know. He has it the hardest out of, um, out of everybody in reality, you know, so everything that we do, we got to do it, you know, two times harder or two times better, you know, three times harder, three Shit. times harder you know, in reality. You, you right. Gotta, you got to work. You got to work harder than, than the next man, especially if you, you know, if you white, right. you know, especially if he's white. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what, yeah, three times and more and stuff like that, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, in, in, in um, including the black women. You know, it's you know tagging along the black woman is we dealing with even more, and I feel like we don't necessarily have uh, that support. You know that we could really use. You know, it's, it feels very individual. You know, um, and yeah. But um, yeah. Um, Speaking on the examples we have, there we go. It's that man, that Shaq two times. Who? Oh yeah, that's his yeah. name. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. He'd be doing a lot of little uh, shorts and shit. I I, uh, I think he'd be having some 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 cool videos too. But these two shorts he did was recent. In your dating experience to where you're now like, eh. It's a lot of pressure on black men, specifically dating black women. And I love black women. Social media and the culture has put a lot of pressure on us. This could be just based on environment. Mm -hmm. um, when I moved to Atlanta, you know, Women here are very entitled. Mm. Um, it's, and listen, I'm not blaming anybody, so I don't want this to turn when into... When you say that. entitled, though, break. what does entitled um, mean? I'll say financially entitled. I feel extreme pressure. And I get hit on by white women. I get hit on by all kinds of women. But when I get hit on by black women, I immediately feel this entitlement <laughs> of, I got to pay for something. Mm, wow. I got to pay your rent. I got to help you with your car note immediately within two weeks. I think that entitlement feeling helps because now I know when I can just ghost you. As soon as I get the hint of entitlement. I want to go home. This date is over and you're paying for my meal now. Yeah, that was some, I, I mean, I, honestly, I feel, I be feeling like that too. You know, I feel like a lot of women, especially black women, uh, but women in general, probably, but uh, you feel me, but if he's uh, talking specifically uh, black women, uh, I feel like they, you know, they definitely do feel uh, entitled um, I, or I feel the pressure, at least, you know, that I have to, you know, like I have to pay for all these things, you know, and like just even oh first date. Oh, you got to take them to these certain places and they expect these certain things. Yeah, you just and, you just had a situation like that where you would you yeah, uh, a girl was telling you, like, you know, she wanted to go somewhere. You really was stuck on where you was going to take and I and I had to step back and realize that I didn't really had to deal with that shit like that you know cuz right. I don't know I... <laughs> God damn. Oh, but your turn you need some oat milk <laughs> 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 but no 
it's it, it, bro, the real thing is he said Atlanta. The girls in Atlanta. You know, California too, man. Shit. Yeah, California too, but there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, the 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 music Florida, is getting pushed. Hmm? Yeah, but the music is getting pushed in Atlanta hard. You know, the whole scene out there in Atlanta is all is 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 ignorant toxicity. They breathe that shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the women. But like, I like I like. Thank God I'm in Humboldt right now. I don't really see too many girls that's trying to be like, hey, you gotta take me somewhere because bitch, you know damn well ain't nowhere for us to go. We finna go to the woods, we finna chill out and do some mushrooms, bitch. The, the best thing I got going is my goddamn crib right here. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, where, where you wanna go? You feel yeah. me? But I feel like once you get to certain places, like when you go up and you in Oakland, when you in Atlanta, when you in places like Miami, Florida, where it's hella shit to do and it's always hella people out there spending money, looking good, doing shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what breeds that's what breeds that toxicity. And you got hella people already seeing shit that they want to do with it, knowing damn well they can't afford it, you know, so they trying to find a nigga to you know. But that's what make it hard. That's what make it hard. You know, yeah. black women need to need to need to stop listening to fucking rap music. Yeah, nigga. All that, stop listening to all that shit, man. Reality. Real shit. Niggas too. Niggas too, man. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta branch out from that shit. Just even uh, talking about that stuff, uh, <laughs> like you know, uh, shit, man. Like just getting to, getting to knowing a woman, you should you should be able to go get some coffee, something very simple, or she should be paying for herself. In all reality, you know, instead of us even feeling entitled, you feel me? Because we might not even mess with her, you know, might not even like her or none of that stuff, and you know, and it, I just don't, I just don't feel, I don't feel like we should be feeling pressured. You know what I mean? And to to that extent, I don't. I don't. I definitely don't. I don't no, know. fuck no. I wonder where the fuck it even came from. Like when when what what year did it start? When motherfuckers was like, "No, nah, you can't take me to the cheesecake factory, nigga. You can't go to no motherfucking uh, uh, uh red lobster, nigga." What? Like what? 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 When did it? To, when did it come to the point? It was like, oh, yeah, nah. Yo, nah. I never had a bitch tell me that though. But I ain't. This is you know. I don't really be trying to. If I do take a bitch out, I'm gonna try to take it real cool. But otherwise, like. It's gonna be somewhere nice if I actually try to. But otherwise, if I'm just trying to get some food, bitch, you better not expect me to take your ass over to get spend some some money, money. Bitch, we going to Chipotle. Bitch, yeah, bitch, like Chipotle. <laughs> Taco truck, bitch. I want to go somewhere where I could talk with you, see what you, yeah, stuff, man, see where your mind, yeah, is. yeah, see yeah. You really bougie, uh, real, real bougie like that, you know? Yeah, or you just trying to be somebody you you, you really mm-hmm. not? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, oh, I ain't got time for I ain't got time for that, man. You know, let's, let's pull the second video up. So, uh, which one? Which one? The uh the other one I had. Remember? I have one question. What did black women do to black men that was so bad? What do we do historically that was so bad? We stole our children and used them as pawns for in. child support. You embarrass us on the daily by not dressing modestly. You talk about our mothers when we disagree with your behavior. You call us homosexual when we assert our masculinity. You lie on us to the world by telling them that we unalive you every five and a half hours. You call the police on us and get us thrown in prison or jail more than anybody else. You disrespect us when we try to bring together our families, which is what you did when you brought up Kevin Samuels in your video. You claim that we're trash and deadbeat fathers even though we are the most involved in our children's lives. You always talking about how we bash you, but you never bring up the videos of us doing so. What you would rather do is just say it and then act like the videos we do post about you aren't about your behavior, mannerisms, and characteristics that we wish would change. Now here you are acting like a victim, crying to us. Not to lie to you, I support this. Moses is right. Bro had a mo- he had a lot of emotion when he was talking, but you can you can tell that he been through the uh, through the ringer with a lot. Well, they probably just one black woman, or probably a lot of them. But he didn't seen it. You know, yeah. Moses didn't seen it all. But like, I mean, everything that he was saying is is, is real, though. You know, uh, yeah. You know, all that stuff uh, keep the black man down. Uh, you feel me? It's a it's a whole uh, agenda against the black man. You know that uh, black women be uh, doing. You know, and so you feel me? And not just that, uh, man. I been I thought about this. It take it take a it take men to raise kids, man. Oh god, nah, you damn right. Yeah. It take men to raise kids. I, you feel me? A single a single uh man versus single uh you know uh single basically single parents. The uh the man versus the um the the woman. The uh, man gonna raise a better child. 
Yeah, I, I do believe that. You feel me? It's just it's more um take it on record. Trey just said <laughs> that single mothers can't raise kids better than single fathers. I'm not just... saying I'm not saying they can't. It's like you know what I mean, but I'm just saying overall. You know, men. I, I feel you. like men raise better, uh, better kids. Um, it's just, it's just that uh, assertiveness. You know that uh, correction. You know, you feel me. And even to this day, women need correction. You know what I mean? You feel me? Everybody yeah. need correction in reality, but women need a lot of correction and stuff. But you feel me? But yeah. You know, you know, I just thought about too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I do hear a lot of experience with with uh people that you know have separated mo- mothers and fathers. And like, you know what I'm saying? They uh they it they I hear a lot of stories about the stepdad always being the problem, you know? But mm-hmm. I don't really too I don't really hear too many people arguing when, when they go to they, you know, mess with their father, they with their father, and the father got a girl. I don't really hear to me, you know, bad things going on with the stepmother, you know? Mm-hmm. As long as the father run the house, you know, he may not like it because who, you know, because you know, she with the position that she's in. But other than that, shit. Like, you know, you don't really be hearing too much. Once you got a stepdaddy in there running the house and shit and she and he doing shit and he 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 saying fuck your daddy and everything. He he calling the prop between the actual root of the family. You know, it it yeah, step stepmothers when a woman is playing her position regardless if she's the, the, the biological mama or not, you know, it's it just it just weighs differently. And you can't it's like you like you said, even if you was by yourself, if you had a fucking woman I don't think that woman's going to affect your child as much as a stepfather would. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That dominant role is is, a, is something that you say a kid need, and you you got to get it from somewhere, mm-hmm. especially if you uh, if you raising a son. God damn yeah. it. Especially if you raise a son. You can't be trying to raise no damn boy. Yeah. But at the end of the yeah, day, though. Sure. And even the both. woman, though. Even the woman, man. Even the woman sometimes, too, man. What? You know? But... But yeah, we gonna we gonna go ahead and we gonna uh, we gonna jump to the next uh, next thing. We gonna talk about the black woman, you know, kind of get it get her perspective on things. So try to try to you know. Have to go drink some oat milk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 